It's not possible for me to die anymore. Mark, you scum. Why? 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 Ha <laughs> I am special! I am! I am the chosen one! I'm supposed to be divine!
What's this? Day 2190. It's my sixth year working for Mr. Stewart. On this special day, I have noticed something terrible. I've lost a most precious object. Day 2192. I've looked everywhere, but I still cannot find it. I cannot discuss this with Mr. Stewart. What should I do? The precious bird carving that he gave me. Where did I put it? Day 2193. I have searched inside and outside, even in the car. I have looked for it at night so Mr. Stewart wouldn't find out, but I cannot find it anywhere. Maybe I should just give up. Hi there. Zack, you don't feel like leaving this town yet, do you? You're right. Something's making me want to stay a bit longer. Well, since you gave me a visit, why don't we play a little game? A game? A simple game. You don't have to go anywhere. I'll ask you multiple choice questions about Greenvale, that's all. Would you like to give it a try? Sounds like fun. Then let me know when you want to get started. These questions are about Greenvale. Are you ready? First question. Well done! But how about this next one? Second question. But can you answer this one correctly? Third question. Zack, you're simply astonishing. It's quite difficult to answer these consecutively. Perhaps it's just a sign that I put too much heart into my work. You must control your feelings, your desire to stay. Ah, oh, you're right. At this rate, I'll be here forever. Well then, I shall give you your prize. Here, take this. You can leave this town in our care now, and follow your own path. Yes? Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, this is... I'm sorry, Michael. I just had to read your diary. How very impolite of you. I'm so shocked. 
I'll stop rhyming for now. Where did you find this? In the diner, Michael. You were only able to look for it at night, right? Diner, of course. It must have meant a lot to you. But why does it have no eyes? Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, Mr. Stewart gave me this carving the day he adopted me. It was an unfinished carving made by Mr. Stewart himself. When he gave it to me, he said, When you grow up to be a fine man as a son I can be proud of, I'll give you the eye parts to this bird, and then you can finish the carving yourself. I'm far from receiving the eye parts if I'm losing the bird itself, and I'm far from being a son that Mr. Stewart can be proud of. Michael! Mr. Stewart! Let me give you these. These are the eyes for the bird. Have you forgotten my promise? What a fine son you turned out to be. But I... It's okay, Michael. Objects are not important. It's your heart that's important. That's what I wanted to teach you. And you've learned it well. I'm proud of you. Thanks to Zack and York, we can stop our act now. You and I need to be a team and steer this town in the right direction. Mr. Stewart. I had a feeling you would bring the carving back. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. He knew exactly what was going on all along. Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, you've been very kind to help me. And I appreciate it very much. No problem. Look after your father, okay? <laughs> <laughs>